the euro usd actually i'm really happy about my analysis last week for the euro usd because the pair has moved almost as i mentioned um i said here on daily candles that the pair will most likely reverse right here after creating support number one and we can expect the reversal to happen on a support number two and that is exactly what happened the bull the pullback has happened indeed and the pair reverse on this resistance falling down for almost 80 pips of profit hopefully everyone have got them and to be honest speaking with you i'm really not sure what uh, what's wrong with these comments on youtube i mean i'm seeing a lot of comments saying that all the positions are failed all of the positions are in loss and i'm thinking what what's going on all the trades are actually going in profit except for the pound usd and the usd gpy so it's it's really amazing the mentality of some commenters here i mean i cannot understand it to be honest they are just uh f commenting on losing one signal but they don't open their mouths when they are earning profits from the other signals anyway that is not our topic so the euro usd now what's is going to happen in my opinion uh we can see that the pair has broken out from the support level and right now we are facing here a small resistance level not to mention the strong support level right here we are having in the past uh, in my opinion this uh, support is gonna keep its position as a support and we can see the pair on friday closing night has reversed on this level so from my point of view the euro usd is gonna continue going more up until it hit this previous support level and then gonna continue falling more down now the reason i'm saying that is on daily candles we are having head and shoulders pattern and as we know uh, the rules of the head and shoulders pattern is if uh, we, are ha we are having the resistance level happening on the same level right here like that the pair is gonna fall down and then making a pullback hitting the previous resistance level then fall back and making another pullback hitting the previous resistance level again and then gonna continue falling more down so looking at the left we can see that right here we are having this strong resistance level right here which was also a support right here and right here and here therefore uh, in my opinion just wait for the euro usd to make another reversal a pullback for almost 35 pips before we start shorting the euro usd so the euro usd signal today or so this week is for the so for the short so we can sell on 1.1 0623 and again if you want to play it uh, risky you can start buying the euro usd right away and expect uh, for the pullback i mean what we are going to earn is the pullback plus the short however i really don't advise that i'm telling that if you want to be risky because as i said uh, the euro usd most likely is going to reverse on this previous support level here we are we're relying on that however <clears throat> However, I have to mention also something here that we are having here a support zone as well So maybe the pair is gonna fall a little bit more down Hitting this previous support and then is gonna making the pullback. That's why I'm not giving the buy signal this week at all I'm just telling you wait for the pullback to happen even it might take few days to happen uh, the euro USD is actually best for short instead of buying because the pattern is the very strongly uh, suggesting the short so again um, my advice for you my friends wait for the pullback on the euro USD until it hit this level then it is going to be perfect level to start shorting the euro uh, the euro USD um, let's just be sure about that uh, people are talking about the stop loss and it's really difficult for me to give any stop loss levels because I am not really a person who gives stop loss on the levels people already know me that know me about that I cannot really give any uh, signal for the stop loss if there is anything need to be mentioned I will I will make another video talking about the euro USD and what sh what we should do if the pair will go against us for example if the pair is gonna break out from this level and gonna continue going more up we can expect for the reversal to happen right on this resistance level and then it's gonna fall down so what i'm trying to tell you here is be wise about your trades when they are going in loss 
just continue analyzing don't just put a stop loss and leave the trade to go you have to always be careful and analyze the the, the trade if it's going against you expect where the, the next reversal is gonna happen so let's say my signal has failed and the pair continue to go more up so you have to be smarter now and just analyze where the reversal is gonna happen since it didn't happen here it's gonna happen somewhere so most likely it's gonna happen right here and from that level you can expect a reversal to at least reduce your losses to the maximum anyway uh, that is my signal for the euro usd and let me just set the take profit level take profit level on the level 1.09 five to zero because that is actually the support level right here which i am expecting for the euro usd to keep falling to until uh, we're gonna see what will gonna happen if it's gonna be a pullback or a breakout however that is my signal for this week for the euro usd and i hope this is gonna be a good week for everyone and i would like to thank you for watching